Hey everyone, Ash on Comics. I'm Ash. Here's a couple comics that I didn't pick up today. Well, I did pick up today, but I didn't. They weren't on my pull list. And uh, whatever reason, sometimes these new age slip by and they don't get my pull list. This is not the first time this has happened. So I swung by a different location um, that I'd never been to before, but same store but different location. It was pretty cool. They had it on the shelf, so I picked up. Challenge number five, I'll be reviewing this. This is, you know, one of the series I've been reviewing. I also found Scrimshaw number one. This is hard to find. Alterna comics are hard to find. It's like, these sell, and then they're, that's it. Like, <laughs> back issues, I need a number four. So I ordered through Peter two, three, five, and six. He was out of one and four. When I was at the other location, I went through the back issue bins. They had one... Five and six, and I was like, score the last. This is the only number one they had. Two bucks. Oh, and you can guess what this is. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw this at the store when I got there this morning. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Get my ugly hand out of the way. Um, I, I flipped through it a little bit, they hadn't even put them in bags, and then I was like, you know what? I'm I think I'm just going to get this digitally. Even though it's oversized, in case you guys weren't aware yet, this is the dimensions. It's it's bigger. It's magazine size bag. Um, even though it's oversized, it was great. shows off the art, and the art is phenomenal. The art is every bit what you see on the cover. This is, I mean, except it's not Jim Lee. This is Jim Lee. It's every bit what you see on the normal cover, but it's like this. It's like a painted color very stunning. The oversize does it justice in that regard. As a comic collector, I don't like oversized stuff like this. I feel like I want it all the same format. I don't want some... Not that this is a gimmick. I mean, this is great for readers to have a nice prestige, you know, um, copy. You can put on a bookshelf. But if you're a collector and you're going to file this way in a, in a comic book box, you know, whatever. Uh, so I was like, yeah, let's get on, on digitally. Believe it or not, as big as this is, it's not as big as my iPad Pro. So I don't love reading comics on my iPad Pro precisely for the reason you're going to love reading this, this big oversized format. Um, it's actually about as heavy as an iPad Pro, too. Jeez. Um... But I thought about it when I was going back to the other location later in the day. And I was like, I really love that Jim Lee alt cover. They only had two copies left on the shelves. Uh, two of the Jim Lee copies. And that was it. They were done. Sold out <laughs> on day one. So I was like, alright, I gotta grab this. Um, I do like this cover. And number two reason I picked it up. It's $6.99. Let this soak in. This book is thick. I don't know how many pages it is, but it's no 22-page comic. It's oversized. It's painted art. It's got nice prestige cover. $6.99. Remember, Amazing Spider-Man was $10. Number one. I saw a Reed Richard... No, it was a Franklin Richards one-shot today that Marvel had. And it was thick, but it was it was still stapled comic. And I believe that was seven ninety nine. More expensive than this. So, yeah, I just had to pick this up. This is going to be the hot book. Everyone's getting it. It's a few dollars more than a regular comic. So once in a while, it's bi monthly, so I can fit it in my budget. Um, I really wish more books were monthly or bi monthly. This whole bi-weekly stuff, and Marvel's doing a Candy X-Men three times a month. It just kills your pocketbook. You know, like, you look at it and go, oh yeah, it's uh, $4 times three. That's $12 a month for that one book. It, it There's so many books that are out that you want to enjoy. And I get, like, it sucks having to wait a month or even two months. But if other stuff is coming out in the meantime, in those gaps that you're getting... The weight's not quite as excruciating. And that, and honestly, the weight sometimes makes a big difference. But anyways, 
this is just a supplemental thing. Uh, I did get a couple extra books in my pull list. I didn't want to wait until next week, and I really wanted to do a video about this, talking about the seven, the six ninety nine price point. So worth it, DC. I, I mean, this has moved the needle. I mean, I haven't even read it. Everyone that has read it, I've I've seen videos already, says it's outstanding. You you can't go wrong. This is DC doing it right, and just just utterly dunking on Marvel. So pass this on. Support this. Support quality comics at great price points. DC should be dominating Marvel. They're making such. They're making better books at better quality and better price. All three. And people are still choosing Marvel because my Deadpool or whatever favorite character they have. It doesn't matter. It, the quality doesn't matter. They just need their characters that they love. And Marvel does have better characters. Sorry, DC. Your IP is is not as not nearly as good, but you are you're kicking you're not you're kicking the shit out of Marvel in every other category. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Get this Jim Lee cover, even though the other one sold out.